welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and you've had a good weekend. So the video that I've got for you guys today is how to use a foam roller. So this video is highly requested. If you follow my blog and my social media, you will know I've already wrote a blog on how to use a foam roller, but I'm wanting to do an updated video tutorial for you all because I have many questions on actually how to use them and how to help recovery and muscle soreness. And if you use one of these guys, this is really gonna help you lean those muscles out and get ready for that next workout that next day. Because this is what I swear by and I do it after every workout. So what I like to do when I'm doing more of circuits and strength based, based training, I'll foam roll uh, before the exercise as well as afterwards. If I'm doing more of cardio or yoga, I love to do it afterwards for about 10 minutes. Before I only do around 5 minutes but afterwards I always do a good 10 minutes and the exercises that I'll show you in this video you can use to make up for those 10 minutes and really get into those muscle groups that are going to help with inflammation, your circulation, scar tissue and also your flexibility. So it's really going to help your muscle recovery so the next day after a big session you're ready to go again for another big session. If you're somebody that suffers from injuries and also you don't recover that quickly after a big like hit session or strength session then I really recommend using a foam roller. I promise you if you do this at least three times a week after, straight after and then stretch after the foam rolling you will see such a difference in your recovery and your flexibility. I noticed a difference when I left my foam roller in the UK, came over to New York and I was walking around and in New York, if you live here, you know you do a lot of walking. And I'm not used to that. Um, I used to drive to clients, but now I walk to all my clients, I walk to the class, I teach classes, and I do my own workouts. And I was doing that without doing my foam rolling, and I really suffered. Um, my ankles and my Achilles were all stiff, all of the back of my calves. So I finally went and bought another foam roller, which I should have done straight away. And again, I've noticed such a big improvement again and I couldn't do exercise without one now. So definitely give it a go. Even if you don't suffer from injuries and you just are generally quite tight, you will find this very beneficial. The foam roller that I'm using in the video is called a Trigger Point and I will link the um, foam roller Trigger Point company in the subscription box below. Um, that's just a make that I think is really good. It has like little bumps in it so it can really give you a deep tissue massage um, and then when I'm mass massaging my back I like to use a smoother one like the one I have here and um, this I got from Amazon and um, really inexpensive the trigger points a little bit more expensive but worth every penny I love the trigger point one because for my quads hips and calves I really need to get in there a little bit more so the trigger point definitely a must for that and then for my back I love to use this one from Amazon and I'll leave that link in the subscription box below too. Okay so I start the rollout sequence with a quad and hip flexor rolling out so as you can see I put my elbows on the floor this helps to support my legs and how much pressure I want to put through the foam roller so you can put more pressure for your elbows if you don't want as much pressure for your legs or you can put more pressure in your legs to create more of a firm rollout. Next I roll out my IT band going from the top of my knee to the top of my hip and long strokes going up and down using my elbow and the other supported foot to get all the way up and down from the knee to the hip. If you struggle with knee problems, this one is a must to try because it really helps loosen up the muscle along the IT band, which then can release around the knee. Next up is a hip rollout. So if you struggle with a lot of stiffness around the hip, this is a must try. So first of all, I start on my right side and I put more of the weight into my right hip and I put my left foot over my right knee so that I can really get into the foam roller in that hip joint area 
and go slow up and down little strokes so that you can find those tight areas to roll out. Okay, so next, if you do a lot of running and walking, this one is definitely a must for you. It's rolling out your calf. So I put the weight into my hands and then I put as much weight as I want for my calf and I go to the left side and then to the right side and then the middle, getting all up and down that calf, all the way to my Achilles and almost to the back of my knee and using the other supported foot if it gets too much on the floor to take the weight off the leg being rolled out but if it isn't then you can use both legs on that roller to put more pressure through the car and now we've got a lower back rolling out so you use your feet for how much pressure you want to go through that lower back and if it is still too much you can put your hands down at the back to take the pressure off that lower back next up is rolling out your obliques so this is great for if you suffer from lower back pain and it also helps to lean out the upper body. Again, using your feet and elbow to support how much pressure you want to put through your obliques. And I go 10 to one side and then turn over and do 10 to the left side. This next one is great for anyone that suffers from any kind of back pain. So as you can see, I put the foam roller down the whole of my spine then I cross my arms over and I just massage side to side, really slow and controlled movements. The next one, your palms facing upwards, they're together, and then you're just going to open and close, releasing behind those shoulder blades. And then the final one is just swimming those arms, touch back there, and then reach forward and back like you're swimming your arms. Make sure you reach as far as you can so that you get a full range of movement. When you're coming out of this sequence, make sure you get out from the side and not in an upright position, because if you do that, you can cause some back spasm. So make sure you roll out to one side when coming out of this movement. This one is my favorite. It's rolling out your whole back. So you start rolling your shoulders out and then push through your heels through the floor to get all the way to the bottom of your back and then keep rolling forward and back using your arms for momentum and use slow strokes so that you can control the amount of pressure you put through your back and just be careful which foam roller you use for this as if you use one that's too hard too soon then you could get some back pain. Okay, so the final one of the rolling out sequence that I do. If again you do a lot of running and walking, this one really helps. And if you suffer from tight hips, rolling the bottom of your feet really helps to release the tension in your hips and also your lower back. So I find this is a great one to really release any muscle tension underneath the feet, legs, hips and lower back. So definitely give it a try. Okay, so that's the video. I hope you found it really helpful and beneficial and now you're wanting to go and get yourself a foam roller. I can't stress it enough how good these are for your body. So especially if you're new to fitness, on a new fitness journey and doing lots of exercise that your body's not used to, get yourself one of these. I'm telling you now, it's really gonna help your recovery. Also, if you'd love to see a warm down video on the stretches that I do as well after using a foam roller, please leave me a in the uh, please leave me a comment in the comment section below, and I would be happy to film one of those for you because this is a routine that I religiously do after any exercise. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and subscribing to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, especially if you're wanting to see more of my videos as me. <laughs> I post weekly about fitness and health tips that's going to help you guys hopefully on your fitness journey and just getting fit and healthy. I hope you all